Hello everyone and welcome. This is the 11th episode of uh, the Inside of My Mind series where I will be sharing with you my thought process and uh, have more time to explain what's going on during this round. Uh, this is a face level 10 game. I'm playing solo queue. So this is a 5 versus 5 on those two, but uh, we have a, have a teammate that has been disconnected. At the bot instead. So we have to play a little bit slow here, uh, be more cautious. And as you can see, our setup is not the best because uh, we should be having a control map. I would check middle, we check long if they play, uh, if the cities are pushing long or not. And right now we we're playing all five tunnels, and uh, this is not the best setup to be honest. And uh, it, maybe it's not uh, doesn't allow us to uh, to increase our chances of winning this round. The only thing we can do here is maybe copy contact, or maybe um, try to finish any uh, city pushing from short, or uh, or maybe trying to get info from closed doors middle. The thing is is uh, that um, if a city pushes top mid, he gets all the info that uh, that he needs. Uh, if the city is uh, in long, notice that uh, there is no activity, there is no uh, flashes coming long, and uh, the city pushing middle sees that uh, there is no, no one mid, they would uh, they would have a, an easy run for us, uh, for them, I, I mean, and uh, the run would be basically over, but uh, it's not going to be that case, because um, I will let this clip roll on, and uh, we manage to uh, show how we managed to, uh, to win a 2 versus 4 there. One mid. Oh, here. Two So as you can see, I mean, I'm following my teammate here to make sure that I can trade him uh, if uh, if he gets uh, if he gets uh, an entry or if he gets taken down by the city close. And uh, we have two uh, two teams playing in middle, and the bot obviously staying uh, idle. Uh, maybe I was thinking that we could um, uh, maybe go uh, from uh, to be and do a speed B. Please. Try to go right over. My teammate gets taken out from uh, Trotty Smoke, the city tries to shoot. This was a log smoke that uh, didn't uh, really um, work out. And here we, we got the round reset, we need to, to get some entries uh, from, from extremities. Orange, uh, Orange tries to, to get uh, an open on A. Right now all we can do is wait. We don't have a plan there right now, we don't have any clear plan what to do now. And at this point, 4 versus 5, the best thing to do with uh, no utilities for me was to, to push short. And uh, my two teammates get uh, taken down and uh, yeah, I managed to secure the trade. And I try to uh, go towards middle. So the city, when the city dies, it sees me that I'm going towards middle. So maybe I can uh, bait a lot of rotation from, uh, from mid and maybe try to get uh, someone picking for me. Uh, I will try to go back to short again. And this is where it gets very interesting. So, uh, my teammate in me, I should follow him if he gets an entry. If he doesn't get an entry, I, I have to go short. The thing is, he will get those entries, and I will gamble uh, a peek on A, because the best way to sell a fake is to actually open a site. And uh, Yellow will do a very good job there by opening uh, the site B. And I will try to um, use the, the advantage that Yellow has to snowball further and try to catch someone rotating towards, uh, towards me. So this is an excellent work from Yellow there. Uh, we managed to have two individual plays, and uh, those two individual plays made it uh, made it so we had a good teamwork there. So uh, what I can gather from uh, from this uh, from those recent frags is that Yellow got two frags on B, and I got one in a in a in a CT. So my guess would be there's one middle or there's one long at this point. Whatever happens in this round, I mean, it's clearly worth for us. Why? Because it was 2 versus 4, but we managed to manage to get uh, economic damage, but also we managed to get the plant. So even though if we lose this round, the next round will be... Uh, the next round will be uh, advantageous towards us because the cities will have uh, the cities will have a uh, low economy buy. And here I play this position uh, where it's really OP. Why? Because it allows me to see the shadow from the city be before the city peaks. So this is the C CS2 perk. Or uh, you can uh, you can get ready when you see the shadow of the enemy. Uh, uh, the counter to that would be that the city gets uh, above the the uh, how do you call it the, the edge or the 
the concrete behind you know gets uh, he stands above and uh, gets a good uh, i mean a good angle towards me because i have to flick my my cross to towards to the top and uh, here i got a good cross investment I made sure also to plan for shots so my teammate could get a uh, my teammate could get a uh, a good uh, good uh, post plant position after. So yeah, uh, two individual plays. I mean, props to yellow. Yeah, props to yellow here. Maybe the best de decision for me was to to rotate to B, but uh, the thing is, uh, if I was rotating to B, I had to make sure that I pay attention to to middle because uh, I get no security from uh, from the middle area, and uh, if I'm I'm not cautious. I may uh, I may lose the bomb, also maybe lose the round because of that. So I took a big gamble there. Uh, it's not it's not the best play I would say, but uh, if he succeeds, the success rate was slim. But if he succeeds, the, the round would be basically uh, won for us. So yeah. Uh, otherwise, rotate to B was the was the best alternative there. But uh, make sh make sure that I I pay attention while rotating, and uh, that I don't give a f a free uh, bomb to the city while rotating to me. I will let this clip roll a little bit so I can put those related videos. Yeah. Well played, Yellow. You know. 70 80 percent of this round was you, so well played, man. So, yeah, that's it for me, guys. See ya. See you on the next.